Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And this is Megan with Believe in the Run. Man, we are in a conference room right now. <laughs> what are we doing? We're Con- conferencing. Yeah, <laughs> we're not doing that. We're in Boulder, Colorado mm-hmm. with ASICS uh, to test out the Kayano, the Gel Kayano 30. Don't forget yeah. that gel. Yeah, you got it. The gel is hidden now, but it's still there. Yeah. Is it called Pure Gel now? No, that's all. I that think that's thing? only in the Nimbus. You should know this. Yeah, we should ask about that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, so we're here in a conference room. We're going to be joined by Emma Bates. Do you guys know Emma Bates? Heard, Heard of her. her. Yeah. yeah. She's a runner, right? Yeah. I th- She's pretty fast. I th- yeah, a speed walker. Ooh, nice. She did really well in Boston. I think she was the first American. Yeah. And then Chicago last year, she was the second, second, Ameri- overall. Uh, second overall. And then uh, other than that, you know, she did Worlds, and she did pretty well there. So she's going to be on here in, like, what, 10? I don't even know. Uh, 15, 15 minutes? minutes, yeah. yeah. Okay. And she's going to join in on the shenanigans. We're not doing a typical yeah. interview-style podcast. No, she's just going to come sit with us, hang. Sink or swim. <laughs> we should do a thing where we try not to even mention running one time I during mean, the podcast. That would probably be easy to do. You should get shocked every time you mention running. <laughs> yeah. But we did do some crazy running this morning. We did, yeah. We, okay, so do we start with yesterday, or do we start with today? Let's just start with today. You already led it. All right. So it's a famous place here in Boulder. Mm-hmm. The locals call it Mags. Yeah, that's what the cool people definitely say. Yeah. It's Magnolia Road, but actually we saw the sign that says Magnolia, Magnolia Drive. Drive. They don't even know if the difference between a drive and a road. But, it, Robbie, it's the most vertical paved road. Steepest. Steepest paved and maintained road. In, in the, the United States. States. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. That's Googled why Kafuzi was morning. almost throwing up <laughs> when we were going. Poor Kafuzi. We were in a, um, like a party van Yeah, that has the couches all the way around. Yeah, I was looking for the stripper pole to perform on, but I didn't see it anywhere. <laughs> it, you had to press a button <laughs> oh, okay. to make it rise. And uh, Kafuzi was sitting backwards, and dude, he almost lost it. He told me he almost oh, threw yeah. up. He, was, he had his eyes closed the whole time, and I was like, what are you doing? Would that make it better? It does. I've been like really car sick like that and you just want to disappear. So closing your eyes helps. Yeah. It okay. It was not a good situation. Can you imagine if he had let loose on that van? I, don't, don't even It would have been a it. better story. Oh my imagine God. If you were no, over. that would have been the worst story. Imagine you if you were hung over w- going up there though. I kind of was. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> okay. we all did drink some yesterday. <laughs> all right. All right. So we get, we get up to the top of Magnolia Road, which was a windy, twisty climb like to 8,500 feet or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Which is great for us seafaring people. Yeah. yeah. Literally yeah. living at zero feet. Yeah. Our house is at like 100 feet above uh, the water. Yeah. Yeah. And that doing that was like wild. We, uh, I mean, just getting here in general, I felt like having the adapting to the oxygen levels or whatever is always interesting. And I know you didn't want me to talk about yesterday, but. Dude, I got That's dizzy cool. yesterday when we went oh, for I got a run. Dizzy both days, yeah. Yeah. So I was I actually was okay today. I thought I was gonna be worse off. But I went to the gym in the morning and I did leg day with Kafuzi and Tommy runs. Oh wow. Which was I didn't get the invite. I wouldn't have showed up anyways. <laughs> it was quite quite it was tantalizing. Yeah. Yeah. I've never <laughs> seen such quads. Wow. But um Did yeah. you feel inferior? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I I mean I felt pale because mm. Kafuzi's yeah. got nice tan legs. Kafuzi, obviously, uh, I mean, uh, Tommy yeah. clearly has tan legs. Right. Um, my legs looked ghostly. Yeah, you look like a chicken in the like freezer section or whatever. Yeah. So imagine you're looking in that gym mirror, and you see beautiful tone legs, beautiful tone legs, and then these kind of like yeah. really pale pasty legs. You're really legs. painting a picture for the crowd. Yeah. But I did audience. some squats, and I'm actually on uh, Kafuzi's Instagram. I you saw see, that. Yeah. yeah, I watched it like ten times. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we did that. We get up to Mags and ha- describe Mags. I like that you're calling it Mags. Like you're a yeah. local now. Mags. Mags. I, I've run it now, so I'm I gonna am, call you Megs while we're here. Yeah, Megs <laughs> and Mags. Okay, um, it's like a so the portion that we ran was the dirt road. We did not run on the paved road. And oh, there's a paved. They part? call it. Well, that or, was like I, the part that we drove up. Does it then get paved again if you keep going? I'm, no, I th- I'm not sure. I think no. you hit a T, and it's like a, like a okay causeway or something. But so it's. They said the portion we ran was quote rolling hills, but there was a climb in there that <laughs> nearly destroyed all of us. Um, 
in the first. I didn't two even try. Miles. I was walking the uphills. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. Brandon front. and I ran up the whole thing. I think at one point it was we had too much pride to start walking. Wow. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you walk it? You way too much pride. Oh. <laughs> Robbie ran past me and then I saw him walking. I yeah. Was like, All walks. right, that's my boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's no way. It I was mean, hard. Yeah, I just what, suck in what, air. Are you, what am I trying to prove? <laughs> and, and it, it, it was also kind of like almost like a disease. You'd see someone start walking, and you'd be like, "Oh, mm-hmm. it's, it's okay. It's give in to the mm-hmm. give in to the walk." So we we got up there, and um, you guys crushed it, though. You and Brandon. We, I mean, we ran the whole thing. It was five miles total, um, just a hilly route, and I mean, we stopped a few times, took some photos. Of course, we're, you know, capturing content the whole time. Nico was out there. Yep. Nico Montañez. And he's now a teammate of yours. Yes. He and I are best friends and teammates was now. Was he walking up the hills? He was. <laughs> yeah. He was not. He, he kept running. They did like eight miles in faster than we did five. So yeah. casual. Yeah. I mean, it's, if, it's cool if you can do that. But if you can't, there's no shame. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So uh, it was beautiful. It was. The Vista views. Yeah. I mean, it looked like, I don't know how Switzerland looks like or. Maybe you do. The Alps or whatever. Yeah. I felt that's what it looked like. The green pastures, the bison, the snow capped mountains in the distance. Yeah. It was pretty spectacular. I don't know. I, I was, yeah, it felt like a dream kind of running there except it was like a dream and a nightmare combined. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it was. I I did feel better than I did yesterday though. So yesterday we went up, what was the name of that route? Uh, uh, Mike got us lost. Anemone Trail or something. See an enemy? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so Mike Kafuzi again, led this trip, and he kind of led it in the way that Robbie would lead. Yeah, we have very kindred spirits when it comes to... It was like directional running. I think it's over there. Yeah. But much. it worked out. It did. And it was a lot of fun. It was a beautiful trail. I loved, like, that's my favorite type of thing to run on. It's just when it's nice like single track, like groomed kind of like path where you can just bomb it. I think we all decided though that maybe some trail shoes are overrated because we all went out there. I wore trail you, shoes. Except for you. And Kafuzi. And you and Mike, because Mike knew what we were running on. I watched Robbie slip. Uh, yeah, but overall, I mean. Wouldn't he do that in trail shoes? <laughs> mm. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. This, the grip on those uh, Trubuka Max were pretty I was sweet. wearing the Super Blast and like a worn pair of Super Blasts with minimal traction. And it was okay. I think for those types of trails <laughs> or um, like fire road type trails mm-hmm. that you really can run in, in any kind of We'll shoot. say that, but the last time I was out in Colorado, we were running on trails like that. And I wore the Adios, Eddie Zero Adios. Mm-hmm. I forget which number. And I almost, remember, I almost went off the trail. Yeah. Because oh. I was like, there's no grip. Whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you probably want a little bit of lugs. I feel like at least something... The Nike Pegasus has those, or yeah, you know, or the Asics, even the gel. I felt like the Kano had some type of lugs, so um, but yeah, it was the trail was beautiful again. It's like anywhere you run here, the views are amazing. Well, you got out here early, mm-hmm, yeah, so tell us about that. Oh, uh, so yeah, I got here a day early, and my college roommate lives out here, so we went horseback riding, broke back together, style. like. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, no, we <laughs> no saddle. <laughs> yeah, there is. Uh, <laughs> there is. His, no, his wife and their niece came along. So to it was watch. A, it was a, it was a, okay, can't say that. <laughs> All right, cut that part. Out. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I went. <laughs> no, uh, I don't even know where I should start. Just start over from. Yeah, we you're riding. All right. So yeah, I went. Came back. Came out here a day early. My college roommate lives out here, so we went horseback riding, which was fun. With. Uh, with his wife and niece and then but it was raining so it was a little bit not cool that's so weird because it's been beautiful since we got here yeah apparently it's been raining for like a month straight here so the day before we got here it was raining yeah yeah and you went the horseback riding in the rain yeah it stopped for a little bit like halfway through did so you have like a duster on like those cowboy jackets i wish jackets? i did i wish i did i only had some i did have a rain jacket and my nike pegasus did Cortex. you wear a cowboy hat no, I wore just a baseball cap under a riding helmet. Oh, a riding helmet. I don't trust horses, man. Those things. Oh, no. I just oh assume, so it was optional? I assume they're going to throw me. Uh, I think you did have to wear one, but yeah, I just assume that. Wait, does he have horses? No, we went uh, We went somewhere like that does it, okay. like a ranch or yeah. whatever. 
it was fun. And then we ended up just, yeah, hanging out and had dinner and caught up and everything. So that was fun. And then, yeah, so I met you guys the next morning and it was, since then it's been pretty nice outside. Pretty beautiful. Yeah. It's gorgeous here. It's laser beam hot though. Like In it's the not sunshine. like you don't feel like it's hot until you stand still. Right. And then it's just like, bow. Yeah. It feels like Florida in a way. Just different. Without the humidity. Yeah. Um, and everything looks like a fake postcard. It does. We're, cause we're, where we're at is right at the kind of near the flat irons are in the background and it looks, yeah. Like it's, how does that, how you walk out of the hotel and it's like this green Vista again with the Vistas, which apparently mm-hmm. everything is usually brown by now, but all that but rain. Yeah. Because the rain, it's, that's probably why it looks like Austria or wherever Switzerland. Yeah. Sound of music was in Austria, right? Sure. It the was. hills were alive. Yeah. With the sound of music. Mm-hmm. Um, are you going to sing it for real, Meg? No. No. No, I'm good. A doe, a deer. Okay. A feet. Thomas will. Yeah. yeah. We should see if Emma knows all the lyrics to that song. I'm yeah. sure she'll appreciate Question that. Question number one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sing any song from the sound of music. <laughs> yeah. I bet she could nail it. All right, oh, we'll yeah. save that for when she's on. All right. All right, so Meg, you ran up, up the hills, and you're always in the front pack. What's that like? Yeah, tell us. I I was hanging in the back for Mike's run for a lot of it. I wasn't in the front. Mm. But for the for the mags run. Oh, I mean no, I got those guys in the front. I they dropped us hard. Mm. Did you feel like there was any um jockeying for position, like were people like trying to oh, prove yeah. their abilities? No, I don't think so. But Matt um from ASICs here who led the run mm-hmm. was just like casually like finished the run and then came back to collect people. So and made it look very easy. Yeah. So I was talking to him on the bus and he said that he, he, he would run from here where we're at in Boulder to the top of that mountain oh my and back for, for Boston training. I was like, I, I think you did Okay, little, how come he didn't win Boston? I think you overdid yeah. it on that one. Like, you'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, but how come he didn't win Boston? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Because if you could do that, like it seems like. Like taking the bus felt hard. Yeah. Up that yeah. mountain. <laughs> like yeah. I was like, that had to stabilize myself oh, in the car. Our ears were popping. Yeah. We were basically at a 45 degree angle the whole time. <laughs> yeah. I was like, why would you do that to yourself? I don't understand. All right. Now. How far is that? Also, what is the elevation? It was 8,500. But, at the, no, but what from are we here at? to, we're, I think we're at seven. I think it's like a, I thought it was like 2,000. No, it's got to be 2,000 more, more. Yeah. Okay. But so Meg has a thing. She, she likes to hear accents. Not oh. the ones I make. You start yeah. doing this. <laughs> 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 I was thinking, should I bring this up? <laughs> <laughs> she, she likes just in general. I think so. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you know how this works? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Jarrett when we, I need we him? We don't have we don't have headphones on for this podcast, yeah. so we're oh, kind of winging it. That's what the thing is. I was like, you guys sound weird. <laughs> you sound like you're normal human beings. Like this is a boring conversation when you don't have headphones. Yeah, we don't know exactly how we sound. Yeah, we're also holding mics today. Yeah, which is not normal. <laughs> and I'm holding, holding this large studio <laughs> mic. My arms are about to fall off. My own fault. So this morning we got to hang out with Lindsey Flanagan. And we got to do a couple fun things. I would call them games. Like we got to play with her. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we got to play fun games. You just can't help yourself. I can't. <laughs> so yeah. So we did a couple things. You're going to see those on Instagram. Mm-hmm. But it is kind of cool like this whole experience because we're like walking around and you see like Lindsay Flanagan. You see who is who, who else is here? Uh, McKenna Myler. Would you like Myler. to tell that story? Yes, I would. <laughs> I'm not very good <laughs> at stuff. <laughs> We get we're leaving. I no. There were several cocktails involved in this. Oh yeah, yeah. This we were leaving dinner after a night of drinking. Yes, and there was all kinds of good drinks. Like I had this gin drink that oh, changed yeah. colors. It yeah. was pretty amazing. Good did stuff. you have any? I had the same one. Yeah. All right. The gin, the indigo gin. What else did you have? Uh, a margarita and a wa- glass of wine at happy hour. That's all I had though. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I think I probably had seven glasses of wine. <laughs> She probably did. Yeah, you guys were hungry. Yeah, like we I, at the I didn't feel that bad at the first it. happy hour, I had a beer and two glasses of wine. Then we went over to the oh, restaurant, wow. and yeah. I had the um, the gin drink. Yeah, and there she is. There yeah. she is. We'll get back to our drink list here in a second. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna welcome Emma Bates into the studio. Yes, for sure. This fancy over, studio. Emma. Hi, this is Emma Bates. Emma, out here in Boulder, Colorado. First check in. First check in. 
What's your advice to runners? My advice to runners is to always have fun. All right. See you in a minute. <laughs> See you in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. You're right in. Emma, so we're doing something a little bit different this time. We're going to actually How's give this? you a mic. We need to move over. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, we, we've, oh, yeah. we've talked to you. We've talked to you about running before. So we just thought, I don't know if you've ever heard our podcast. Yeah, you got to oh, come in. Move in. Oh, and, and if you could hold the mic like this far away. I know it's kind of okay. weird, but yeah. yeah. Okay. You're good. Okay. We just thought we'd bullshit with you and uh, Love have to some bullshit. fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we just figured, just make a casual conversation. Okay. Is that right. cool? Yeah, let's right. do it. Right. So what are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> Very busy day. Asics coming into town and just like using us and abusing us. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you have to do something yesterday? For another brand? Yeah, so my my uh, watch company, Koros, also had to do a photo shoot down in Denver, and I risked my life to get there. There was a hailstorm that we got stuck in, and I, it was chaotic. So I told you guys there was supposed to be hail. Oh. I didn't see it. Boulder is weird right now. The weather, right, like the patterns and everything is just bizarre. So, like, we've got the most rain that we've gotten in years. I Wait, so were you driving when this hailstorm? Yeah, storm? yeah. So we oh, were geez. all stalled out on the freeway. We were just sitting there, couldn't see the car in front of us. Whoa. It's wild. <laughs> See, and that's why it's so green right now, right? Yeah, yeah. So you guys came at a good time ish just because it is so beautiful yeah. when it's not hailing on us. <laughs> Does it do you think it looks like the sound of music or is that Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. It definitely does right now. Kinda like the Ireland vibes too. Yeah, Ireland, okay, Austria, before you got here. Switzerland. We wanted to give you a challenge. Yeah, okay. He just kind of brought it up. Uh, I mean, I was. Can just you like, sing any song <laughs> from The Sound of Music? Oh my God, you don't want, want me to sing right now, like okay. ever. But like really, okay. right now, I've lost my voice. Yeah. I've just been talking Even to better, so many go people. Ahead, do it. Oh my God, <laughs> yeah, <I> no, <laughs> I can't do I that. I thought it was because you were still cheering, you know, for Boston. Exactly, I'm always cheering. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> did, is it? Did you lose your voice from doing all the interviews, or did you have a, a lost voice before that? Um. Well, so. <sighs> There's mold in my apartment right now. Oh. And so I've been coughing a lot. And then I think just talking to people. Yeah. So it was actually perfect timing that Asics came in. They're putting us up at the St. Julian, nice. which is such a great hotel so that I can get out of my apartment so they can try to fix the black mold that I now, have. Now, are black there mold. squatter rules here where if you stayed in this hotel instead of going back to your apartment, do you think you could like just live here forever? Maybe? Yeah, I think I'm just going to see, you know, if anybody kicks me out. Yeah. So. I think that's a good so wait, is that yeah. is that something you can do in Colorado? I don't know. That's what I was wondering because it'd be kind of a good plan just to hang out here for a while. I like time. that plan. I'm yeah. going to go with that plan. Okay. <laughs> That sucks though, because so how long do you have to be out of your apartment? Um, well, they, they're supposed to be making repairs on the apartment okay. right now, so right. we'll see how long that takes. But yeah. yeah, it's 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 something. I live in like this 400 square foot space oh. with my dog and my cat, and so yeah. like there's nowhere to go besides you know just that one room. <laughs> so what happens to your dog and cat then? While you're, are they just? I have out? people watching okay. them. Yeah, Very smothered yeah. in black mold. Yeah, I was like, yeah. are they just like <laughs> taking the take it? Have all you seen on? her dog? You can hide black mold all over that. Uh, okay. It's big white puffy thing, right? Yes, it is. So the, it black, you'd have to tuck it in so it doesn't affect right. the white. Right, right. But other than that, okay, I got you. Isn't that great thing about the interwebs? Like we know, I I probably have seen the inside of your house with the black mold. I've seen your dog. Yeah, you know, we see it. We see everything. Right. Well, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it is a little creepy. I mean, I don't have it on like not like a feed like, specifically <laughs> for Emma. Don't. Don't go, get above yourself here. <laughs> <laughs> it is great. Like, and I don't know, just having like that inside scoop of like everybody, like uh, whether you want to or not, I guess. But um, sometimes I like really am excited to follow other runners, but sometimes I have to put the blinders on. I have to mm. like unfollow them because it gets like too much pressure and I don't want to know what they're doing kind yeah. of thing. So yeah, it is interesting this t day and age of, you know, social media and knowing yeah. everything. On oh, Strava, do you do the same thing on Strava where you're just like, don't look at stuff on there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, every, like, I'm such a, I'm not a consumer when it comes to like Strava or like okay. even Instagram. I try not to like look at it too much. Like yeah. I'm more just like put out content and then leave it there. And then that really, allows me to like be in the moment a lot more too like I think people get a little butthurt because they're like you don't you don't follow me or you don't like my stuff it's like well I just <laughs> it's too much you know especially yeah. with all like the mediums like you have Strava and Instagram and Twitter and all these TikTok. things TikTok yeah, it's loves too TikTok. much no. I I'm I'm a millennial but like I I can't handle all this new stuff yeah like, that's I a, still like to get offended by if someone doesn't follow you on it, the social media it's like such a there's bigger things yeah. but do you ever I do sometimes feel the pressure to like a post even if I don't give a because you're like ah. Do yeah, you like it if you even don't like it? 
I have done that. Oh, yeah, great. you dislike no, it, but you actually like it. Yeah. About that the yeah. Whole time. yeah. <laughs> like this one chick, she does like 20, like she runs a marathon and then does 20 posts about her marathon. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I got to like this 20th one because I like 19 of them. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I, you know Colorado runner. <laughs> yeah. Somebody from Boulder. <laughs> Used to be from Boise, Idaho. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Infiltrate your guys' feed with all No. <laughs> what I love, though, is like yours is kind of interesting because you did a pretty incredible thing in Boston. Like that was pretty sick. So I'm like, okay, she gets to, gets to <laughs> I'm a lot celebrate it. <laughs> but the problem is then you inspire all the four hour, three hour, you know, marathoners. She's so sweet. That now everybody does a, an Emma Bates recap of the marathon. Yeah. And you're like, you guys didn't hey, earn it. Are, no. you, are you mad that Meg does them now? I, I did like two and then I and then, oh, and then I gave up. But also I can't do twenty like Emma. Like you you can do twenty posts and that's okay. Is it going in a book? I people keep asking that. I'm not a I'm not a good writer though, you guys. Just put it all together and just like put it, it on Amazon for two dollars like, and get some yeah. cash. Okay. Actually spending cash. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone keeps telling me that, but I'm like, I don't even know where to start with that. Yeah. Do you guys want to like get that going? Right, I'll yeah, just give can, it to you guys. Right, you guys handle it. Yeah. We'll <laughs> you can about, have the royalties. Yeah. Totally. All right. Robbie can write it like a maniac. So yeah. okay. you yeah. just we'll you give him all, all your right. posts and just say, turn that into a book. The life and times of Emma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think we still That's have stuff to go though. Like, what are we doing this fall? Well, we're doing a fall marathon. That's uh, for sure. I had it. to forego Worlds, um, which is really unfortunate. I never like to say no to a U.S. team, but yeah. it just doesn't make sense with the Olympic trials right around the corner. Uh, right. It's going to yeah. be a hot one. And so, you killed it last time yeah. in Eugene. So. That's a pretty good yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. So um, I can't say which fall marathon yet. Why not? <laughs> um, yeah, there's like, you know, certain contracts. Does it contracts rhyme with learning or <laughs> which one? Crew oh. York. <laughs> Yes, one of you know one of uh, sure. those Schmagago. <laughs> it rhymes with a word. It rhymes with a word, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> um, so what? Awesome. Why? It, when you do that, is that mostly because there's contracts involved and there's stuff that? Yeah, they want to announce it. They want to be the first to like put it out there, and so I'm like, all right, that's fine. Which I got in trouble. Well. I followed the lead of Sarah and Molly Seidel when we made the um, uh, world team mm -hmm. huh. and they posted the day that they found out. And so I was like, okay, I'll post too. And then we got reprimanded. They're like, really? you were not supposed to do that. Ooh. And we're like, oh, nobody said we weren't supposed yeah. to. You spell that so out. yeah, so the guys <laughs> didn't post. And so they like went to the guys and were like, you can't announce it until we say. And it was like months later after mm. we had Whoa. announced. And so nobody knew who was on the guys team for the longest time. It's like, why? Like yeah. we need to know, we want to know, we yeah, want to be like. People want to know. The yeah. fans want to know. And so I know who made the world team this year, also, but nobody else does. Yeah, we know Lindsay Flanagan's on it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just, she's allowed Natasha to say Wodak. that. I think we're allowed to say that. Nico, um, they said by the time they thought today was the day. So okay, okay. this won't come out till Friday. Okay, we should be. We can't get in Great. trouble for saying stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah who are I we? know stuff about yeah, stuff. We're not contractually <laughs> obligated. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> We're not athletes. Um, <laughs> so what is, are you training? Is this just all the folks on the fall marathon? Like are we base training or is what's happening in the summer? Yeah. The, like I'm not racing again until the fall. So yeah. I'm not really doing anything. Um, my coach not is off. Running, I mean, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm running here and there like as much as I really want to. That's um, cool. so my coach is just like out, off in Europe, like, you know, in intense track mode with the rest of my teammates and everything. So he's like, we haven't even talked to each other, which I really like. Um, I like that. He just like, leaves I me never alone. Talk to you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't need to talk to you until 12 weeks before, you know, my race. And then we get back together. And so what do you do in the, what do you like to do then if you're not, you know, in an intense training period? What's, what's kind of like... Just live a little, yeah. you know, like yeah. stay up a little later, maybe um, go backpacking. I love to backpack nice. and just like it does doesn't make sense when I'm, you know, intense marathon training mode. Yeah. I'm just tired, you know. When so. you say stay up a little later, are you talking like 9 p.m.? <laughs> like 9.30. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask, you guys didn't hear that, but she said backpacking, and then she said it gets intense. Yeah. That was. A oh, oh yeah. I didn't even uh, catch that. Nice. Nicely done. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't let that pass. It's so witty. I missed that. Yeah. I definitely intended that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We went and ran um, Magnolia Road today, yes. which they said would be fun. I, I haven't had any fun up there. So <laughs> what I, do you who do told there? you that? I, they, the whole A6 team. They're like, we've planned this great, lovely run. They said memorable. Oh, they did say memorable. That, okay. They're correct on that front. Yeah, yeah. Definitely memorable. How far did you guys go? Just five miles. Okay. Okay. But here's the thing. 
The drive up there is horrible. <laughs> I mean, in what way? Have, would you run up that hill? Uh, no, we start at the like dirt. Okay, and then, yeah, 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 that's, that's where everybody did. starts. Yeah, but the drive up. It's so windy. It was horrible. Like, okay, first off, we're not getting any oxygen because we're from Earth. <laughs> from um, Earth. And so we're up there. It's really thin. And the van's going. This and that. Like all you guys the way. had a party van, though. Yeah. yeah. It so. almost made it worse. Kafuzi <laughs> had to sit backwards. Oh, no. Like the seats that, like. Oh, no, no, they, no. Yeah, it's like a party bus. And it was, we were jamming music. And it was a lot at 7 or 6.45 yeah. this morning. Yeah, that poor soul sitting backwards. No, yeah, you he don't do not. that. Mm -mm. I don't know if you're into it, but um, Kafuzi and I did leg day this morning. I saw that. And then if you want, we're doing arms tomorrow. Okay. okay. You want to you want to jam out? The gym's really tiny. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, we're not going up to Meg's though, right? No. Okay. I think they're going to run. Whose idea was that to do leg day before running Meg's? Kafuzi. What? Yeah. The man's weird. God, death wish. I mean, actually, <laughs> it wasn't as that bad. Like the workout was not that intense. Okay. okay. All right. Fair I enough. also use lighter weights than Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, Truth comes out. <laughs> so you, so you like backpacking. What's the, do you see any wildlife when you're out backpacking? Like what's the craziest thing you've seen out there? Um, I haven't seen mountain lions, but I've seen the prints oh. and like fresh ones and mm. fresh scat and stuff no like way. that. So that gets a little creepy. Fresh scat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mango, that's a, you that's know? a theme of our, oh, is it? Of our, <laughs> yeah. uh, of Wait, our actually, podcast. Actually? Yeah, <laughs> maybe bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah. I, I knew that. Bathroom. I knew okay. that. <laughs> yeah. Second check-in. What's your advice? Oh, what's my advice yeah. to runners? Is it the, a different one? Yeah, you give a different okay, one. Okay, second check-in. Uh, my advice to runners is to get the most out of yourself. Whether that be running as hard as you can, or just doing something different by challenging yourself. I think that's how you get the best out of yourself. Have you ever had any emergencies <laughs> in, out in the wild um, where you're like, this is it? <laughs> this is this is over. No, that bathroom I, well, or lion attack. Yeah. I, I went to leave that open ended. See where she went with it. <laughs> bathroom, yes. Near right. death experiences with the, you know having yeah. to go to the bathroom in the wild, yes. Okay. Um, when yeah. it comes to wildlife, no, because okay. I have a big fluffy white dog. Oh, so I take her with me, and th it's great. And you think she's intimidating enough to scare off predators? No, oh, okay. but <laughs> <laughs> she would make friends with them, yeah. honestly. But. You could throw her at the <laughs> yeah, lion. Exactly. <laughs> the so I always lion. feel all right because right. I can outrun her nowadays. Oh, wow. She's almost nine years old. So, oh, like, yeah. she used to run like 20 miles a day, but really? now it's like a mile max. That's like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're bear meat. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to go backpacking with you, too. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> so, you lived in Boise mm -hmm. and now you're in Boulder. Mm -hmm. You've been in Boulder now for what, a year? Two. Two years? I know. Holy yeah. cow. It's crazy. All right, and you run with Boss? Yes. It seems like a good fit. Yeah, a lot of bees also. Boise to Boston to oh. Boise to Boulder to Boston. I thought you meant actual boss. like bees. Like, like you, you know, know what the bees need out bees? here. So. Yeah, like, Wu-Tang killer, <laughs> Wu killer bees. killer bees. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so of the places you've been, it seems like there's a good home for you. It's amazing. Like, I can't picture myself anywhere else. Like, I am so lucky. Like, I knew, like, this team was going to be something special, but I didn't know how well I would fit into it until, like, I got in and just, like, everybody's so supportive. And, like, there's no, like, again, cutthroat mentality, which is so rare with a women's team or any kind of professional team, really. And I think it helps, like, we really vet who we bring onto the team and like what event they do and like if it would be good for like training partners and stuff like that but it's all about personality it's not about their credentials so it's interesting because i just uh finished des linden's book mm -hmm. and she talks about that a little bit yeah and the chemistry of the team and boss seems to i mean there's been other groups that seem to have come and gone you guys seem to be pretty strong what is that like like do you guys get together socially a lot like how does like what's a What's it look like when you're part of Team Boss? So we have a text thread that's going like every day and like there's so many messages on there. So just like keeping in contact there, which I am terrible about because I'm just, again, in the moment, I don't want to be on my phone all the time, but like they're so good about that. But it's like when we come together as a team like for brunches and dinners and like we're always celebrating something whether it's somebody's race or somebody's birthday or some other kind of you know life event and so I think that's super important to have that camaraderie like not only on the track or the course but like in life and just like supporting each other in our daily lives yeah. and it seems like like since I mean since we first talked to you 
you've really risen. Mm-hmm. I mean, in a lot of ways. But like, how much do you attribute to finding this training group or how much do you think you're just maturing into the athlete that you are? Um, it's a probably half and half, honestly. Like I had to rise to, you know, the occasion of being on team boss, like they're all badasses. And so I really had to step up my game and make sure that I'm getting my shit done because that's where you form respect with everybody on the team is just going out there. Like, even though we're so individualized in our main main events, it's just like, as long as you're getting your stuff done, they love you and like are so proud of you. Um, but it also just like, I've gone through some, some things in my life that kind of helped me grow. And that's like, not just running, but just, you know, daily stuff stuff. So like, you know, my, my dad passing away in 2016 and then getting a divorce in 2020, like those things really, you know, help you grow up pretty fast. Um, and so just perspective on life and like realizing that running isn't that important. Nobody cares like about your performance. Um, it's, it's great. Like (laughs) it's great, like to have goals and and to try to accomplish those goals. But at the end of the day, like you need to be surrounded by people that are going to support you no matter what your performance is. And that's what I really have, um, realized and have become a lot wiser and is just surrounding myself with people that love me for me and not because of what I do. Yeah. yeah but it has been pretty easy to love you for what you're doing. too. <laughs> I mean, you really have been killing it. Like, uh, do you feel like there was a moment or a time where you had this like breakthrough where you're like, all of a sudden the wheels got a little faster, running got a little easier. Like, is there a moment like that? Um, it's hard to look back on just because like, I always kind of pictured myself at like a really high level. Um, so I've always been like just putting my head down and working as hard as I can. So I can't, it's hard to picture like a certain moment, but every year has gotten better. Every year I feel so much better and so much stronger and so much more poised and, um, just mentally stable in, in what I do. And so, um, yeah, it wasn't, there's no like breakout performance either. Like Chicago taking second was great on paper. And like that now everybody knows like what I've been doing behind the scenes kind of thing. And same with Boston, like this is what I've been training for and like what I knew I could do. So that wasn't even a breakthrough either. It's just kind of like really a small progression each and every day that I feel like is a breakthrough for me. All right. You didn't want to give team boss all the credit for your success. (laughs) But we are going to take credit because um, we have been almost at every one of your marathons. So we were at Worlds, we were at <laughs> Chicago, we were at Boston this year. So You guys are the real ones. And I, I, I feel that way because we've interviewed you, Kira D'Amato, Sarah Hall, all these people that seem to do well in the marathon. <laughs> Uh, talk to us first. <laughs> I yeah. should owe it all to you guys then. Yeah. Right. I mean, we'll, 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 talk, we'll talk to your agent. We'll take, okay, credit, right. we'll take credit where credit is due. <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah. Um, so I was wondering, do, do you have anything in your daily life, like a daily routine that you do that kind of helps you, whether that's meditation Lagoon. or just like anything like that? What's that? Lagoon pillows. Lagoon. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there anything you put your head on every day <laughs> that really gives you that rest you need to succeed? Now, I, was really, I, I will tell you, I was really bummed. I liked your uh, Lagoon pillow reel. Yeah. Not to cut Robbie's question off. Mm-hmm. But I tried. I wanted to remix it so I could be laying next to you, <laughs> and on, on a lagoon yeah. pillow, and so that like, because you kind of like look over. <laughs> oh my god, that <laughs> would be hilarious! But I couldn't remix your. I couldn't remix your reel because you oh probably no. had it on. Uh, not not yeah, being able to a be setting. Up. Oh shoot! Uh, it, you should have asked me before. I could have sent it to you. Give <laughs> yeah. me your give me your number. I'll All right. <laughs> so who's oh wait whose discount code do we share for that then? Ooh, I think we're we'll both with Emma's. Honest. She's our guest. Okay. Okay. What's your discount code? Emma twenty. Share for the share for the people. I think it's just Emma. <laughs> Emma. Go to our Instagram and find yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but th- for real, do you have any like thing that you do that is kind of a staple in your life that mm. helps you stay grounded? I try not to be too rigid yeah. in like my life, my daily life. I, I tend to go through like the same kind of routine every day just because like it becomes habitual and it becomes just like second nature, like with running at least, like mm-hmm. eating the same thing, like before my runs in the morning and then, you know, just trying to run at the same time every day. Um, but when it comes to like everything else, I just try to like, you know, just live in the moment again and not worry about like too many things. Like some people just get a little too you know, intense when it comes to training and then they like everything kind of falls by the wayside yeah. and they sacrifice all these things. I don't feel like I sacrifice anything. So that's a really good balance for me is just like doing Man, what I want to do every day. I feel like that's such a hard thing. I f- there's, I feel like so that's a hard thing for a lot of athletes to actually do mm-hmm. just to, to have that balance because you talk to so many people who it's just all training, like everything hinges around running. And like, if that falls, if something bad happens or it gets 
a tiny bit like derailed, then it's just a disaster mentally. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you alone. <laughs> no, I think going through like really hard things in my life, like uh, it created like an adaptability factor of me. And like, that's, that's why I go like through daily life, which is like kind of adapting and not mm-hmm. really like, I, I get excited when, you know, something new happens every day or I meet somebody new or, or something like that. So it just keeps things fresh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is, this has been on your calendar for months. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, if I'm coming to this, this conference, I need to be with believe and run. That's the only way I'm <laughs> yes, coming down. Yes. I mean, they did ask us. Yeah. And we said, we want Emma. Yeah. Get her in, get oh, her in the room. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, that means a lot. You guys, yeah. we even all wore our chorus watches for you. Just kidding. We wear these oh, every day. Oh, Synchronized gross. watches, everyone. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh, which ones do you guys have? Uh, Apex <sighs> two. Apex two. Apex two pro. Oh, fancy boy. <laughs> Okay. R- Robbie does a lot of what, weird stuff. Whatever. That he needs that extra battery life for. Yeah. Just in case I'm missing for four days or <laughs> or 40 days because the battery will, will last that long. I know. I, I always lose my charger because the battery life like, lasts so long that I'm like, I don't know where I put my charger. That was months ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's also weird, though, when you finally get to when it's almost out. You're like, really? I've got 4%. I got a two hour run. <laughs> But it would probably still hold out. Like, yeah, it does. It really does. I think I've gone on 24 miles at 6 or 7%. Yeah. See, that's irresponsible. You, <laughs> <laughs> Not so bad. Wait, but you know how long it takes her to do that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. 10 minutes. <laughs> Fair. I think, I can't remember if you, were you with another watch company before? Okay. I've always been car right. yeah. There's another watch that I had. I remember you, if you had 20%, you couldn't even do a long run. Oh, <laughs> like no. For oh, no. I won't say what company it is. I know what you're yeah, talking yeah. about. You I know. know what you're talking yeah. about. Um, yeah. Do you have any fun, fun travel plans this summer? Um, I think A6 might be flying me out to Paris. Oh. So. Yeah. Nice. Just for fun? Just as like a preview for the Paris oh, 2024 cool. Olympics. Yeah, Is yeah. it 2024? Right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. It's, the next year. <laughs> it's like it's confusing when it was 2020, but actually 2021. And now it's like right, yeah, right around the corner. Exactly. Yep. Yep. So I think that's probably it. And then just straight into fall marathon training. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So where, where have you gone backpacking? Do you do overnight backpacking? Like... Or do you just mean like hikes in general? What what would you call regular I would say backpacking? Backpacking is like overnight, like yeah, yeah, multi-day. definitely, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, because why are you gonna bring a backpack if you're only yeah, out there you, for? You could do a day hike that's like a long sixty miles. That's like a pretty something. typical thing in, in Colorado I know. too. That's like the thing. it's like East Coast that might be considered backpacking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so no. so where's like a good place if you're in Colorado to go on a like a two or three day backpacking trip. I love Indian Peaks Wilderness. Okay. So that is like my go-to probably. Where is that at? Um, at? That's like from here? just north of here. Oh, cool. Northwest of here. Nice. Um, but there's so many good places. Like I haven't even scratched the surface. Right. I mean, it's kind of like overwhelming how many places there are to go here in the wilderness. Yeah. Okay. So Robbie brings up a good thing though. Mm-hmm. So now you're here in Boulder. Let's get the best restaurant for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. And favorite place to go for a run Mm. okay yeah so breakfast tangerine is my favorite um they have great um corned beef hash and they put pickles in it Mm. what like who who thought to put pickles in here but that's wonderful do we like pickles are we thinking about pickles okay (laughs) absolutely i love that combination you you didn't used to like pickles right no it's what recently what I cost don't, you to like I don't know. Interesting. I just kept buying them and then eventually I started okay, trying okay. them. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. Same so, thing with mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I was like that with olives and then I had oh, my no, I first martini oh. and now I love olives. There we go. See, but it's, you know, it's better a twist. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> okay. Would you do a pickled onion as well? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So wait, are we getting martinis after this? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Like you're not training. This is a natural profession. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then we do the second half. Of the interview. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Dr- we, I, what I really want, and th- you would be the best host for this, drunk marathon reviews. Yes. So you run the marathon, That's get my hammered, dream. and then talk about the race. Oh, I love yeah. it. It's like drunk history. Yeah. Yes. Let's let's please do that. Can we, can okay. we do this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it would work very right. well. After fall marathon. Okay. 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 Let's, yes. let's do it. Deal. Right. If you're That's in done. Megago, or Mag- what's it rhyming for New York just, again? Uh, <laughs> Spew, spew pork. Ew. Yeah, um, <laughs> spew pork. I just thought of the wow, grossest, that's, that's that's grossest race I could um, think of. Yeah, we <laughs> should, we should definitely. Okay. All right. Yeah. So. Okay. Not um, the other one though. What's the other one? Wait, we. Merlin. 
Smerlin <laughs> the wizard. Merlin. Merlin the wizard. You guys aren't going there. Uh, if we have to fly out there, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I think they have excellent vodka in the European region there. Mm. Yeah. If it has the starts with the V and ends with vodka, it's probably really good. <laughs> so. Wait, are you a dirty martini drinker? Like you like the okay, slightly dirty. Okay, okay. just a little, not filthy. You okay. know, I'm not yeah. filthy. <laughs> Disrespectfully dirty. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> wait, so then getting back to it, what's the lunch and dinner? We didn't do that. Oh, yeah. oh lunch. Lunch, and dinner. Um, we lunch. We got stuck on pickled corned beef. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Breakfast of vodka. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Moe's Bagels has great um, okay. lunch sandwiches. All right. That's my go-to. And then dinner. Oh, that's tough. Mm. I mean, Corita is really good. You guys got to we, go to Corita yeah. last night, that and I didn't. Really I had a Coros photo fancy, shoot. fancy, though. What? Okay, so what do you want? I, I want didn't tacos have stipulations. And, you know, oh, like tacos. Yeah. Oh, I love tacos. Bar Taco, Tiaco. Okay. Those are probably the go-to. All right. Two awesome. of those places. So hit those up. Before what about sushi? Sushi. Mm, Hapa Sushi is really good. Japango. Um, what are the other ones? Denver has great sushi. Oh, sushi nice. Den. Okay. Which is Sushi Denver. Definitely I, go there. That's nice. If you guys it's have like a an abbreviation of Denver. Yes, yes. And they actually have fresh fish that are is flown okay, to Denver. Okay, so it's legit. Yeah. Right. I don't know about Boulder. Yeah. <laughs> so Blowfish it's is driven really, up in a truck. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Blowfish in, in Boulder, I know, is, is fresh. Okay. So it's Very a little cool. more spendy, but it's worth it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you were going to go, if you were going to go get your martini, where would you go get it? Ah, oh, it's, it's tough here. They yeah. don't have a great martini spot, but an espresso martini at Frosca oh. is the jam. Okay. Jared, Jared just got yeah. like tingles. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh boy, Jared loves the espresso martini. <laughs> who doesn't? I will yeah. tell you, you happen to know a person who makes amazing homemade bagels. Really? And I haven't, I'm going to tell you right now, I make the best martini you will ever have. <gasps> oh my God. I, I will have to agree. Can, it's are you guys good. inviting me over? Yes. Yeah. Pretty yeah pretty is that what's happening? Just come to Baltimore. You <laughs> okay. can stay with us. Okay. Just a little trip. And then drink vodka. Perfect. Or we could hang out in your moldy apartment. Oh yeah. That sounds, <laughs> yeah, divine. <laughs> Either one. You choose. Great. Yeah. Great. <laughs> it's just, I guess it's like, uh, like cheese. I mean, cheese is mold, right? Mm. In a way. Yeah. Mm. Not the same kind though. Not yeah. quite. <laughs> How are we doing on taking up so much of Emma's time? Three minutes. Three minutes. All right. Three minute ra rapid fire questions. Oh boy. Wait, we didn't say your favorite place to run in, ba yeah. in Boulder. Oh, favorite place to run in Boulder. Oh, oh that's a tough too. Mm, probably Lion's Lair. Oh, okay. do you guys know that? No. Where did you guys go yesterday? By the way. An An anemone, oh, okay. Anemone trail. So that's close to Lion's okay. Lair. That's oh, okay. that's one of my favorite trails for sure. Well, Lion's Lair sounds like someplace you take your kids. Like, and hey, we're going to yeah. go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. no, no, what's that place you, you never go? See them again. You can go watch <laughs> jousting while you eat. Uh, yeah. Medieval, oh, medieval times. Oh, LARPing. Yeah. Oh, there's so much around What's here. up with the LARPing around yes. here? Yes. People are real into it. It's really, it's really cool. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to make my own sword and go into this <laughs> okay. realm. Like, I, it's my dream. What would you be? An elf? A giant? Like, what are you going to be? I would, I would probably be an elf. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I have a costume for it and everything. I was an elf for Halloween this last year. And I, oh, oh I actually have a, a wooden sword that my boyfriend made me by hand. Pretty Whoa. amazing, but I think you have to have foam mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's funny you bring up a boyfriend, because um, it's it's kind of recent that it's public. Yeah, yeah. Because yes. I saw an Instagram post. <laughs> <laughs> the hard launch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, officially like off. a year now, so yeah. that mm -hmm. we've been together. But he lives all the way in New York, so. Oh. oh. He's tricky. a bandit. He's a bandit boy. Oh, okay. How often do you get to see him? Um, like once or twice a month. So we like, okay. we make it happen. We're both in the running scene. So it's really nice. Yeah. We just like, he was here for Boulder, Boulder. Okay. And then like at a lot of the marathons we go to and stuff. So it's pretty nice. Do you think Boulder, Boulder is as good as everyone hypes it up to be? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I think it's underrated. It's a lot honestly. of like, everyone's like, oh, you got to do it. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay. It's absolutely Do you amazing. do the two loops where you race it and then you go back and party? Run uh, it? So when I do it, no, because okay. Um, in the elite field, they start after everybody. Oh. So if you were to do another drunk clap, then nobody would be there. That would be a sad drunk be very sad drunk. Is clap. that a common thing? Uh, every a lot of people do that. The second lap. Yep, yep. Okay. So the citizens race goes off at like six fifty. So you have a lot of time on oh, your hands. Wow. That's kind of you're a very classist person. Elite citizens. Yeah. Like, how do you determine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't make these things up, okay? But you support them. Yeah. Yeah. You, need, you need to become an ally of us citizens. <laughs> yes. Love you, citizens. You guys are where the party's at. That's all for right. sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We just awesome. do the party loop. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's all it's about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so Max set his special watch for the Emma Wrap It Up tour. 
Yeah. So he is here. Emma, thank you so much for coming on Thanks and for being us. ridiculous so with fun. us. Yeah. And um, I know I don't I don't remember if we got anything that was, you know, impactful for you, but for us it was a lot. Yeah, yeah. no, I love it. And I'm so excited for our drunk martini recap. Yeah. And, oh, and yeah. tell us why you love being with ASICs because <laughs> they're super awesome people. Have you tried the new Kayano 30? <laughs> I right. actually love the new Kayanos. Like, there we go. wait a second, is it Kayano or Kayano? Oh, yeah, we. Yeah. Kayano, 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 sorry. Okay. I love nope. the new Kayano. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to use an accent. <laughs> I think your voice just cracked. I know, I, just, I can't natural. talk anymore. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Kayano 30, yep. for those of you who need support right. and guidance while you run. Yes. In a lightweight package. <laughs> Even because your form breaks down over the miles, and sometimes you just need that extra bit of support. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Right. Let's start shaking those martinis. All right, thanks, Emma. Yes. All right. All right, third check in. My advice, you guys, is to enjoy the downhill. Just cruise. Float, float, float. All right. Love it. See you next time. All right, so that was incredible. That was very, very nice fun. to have her on. Now we know tangerines. There's a Bob's Bagel or something. What was it called? Moe's Bagel. Moe's Bagel. Bagels. That's for lunch. And then for dinner... I went to one of the taco places. Yeah, I forget Definitely. what they were called, but Taco Den in Denver. Yeah, yeah. Or is that Sushi Den? Sushi Den. Sushi Den. Yeah, yeah. we're messing it all up already. I know that's the problem with like short term well, memory. Yeah, we'll just go back and listen to the podcast if we need to. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> hey, take notes. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was awesome. Super cool having her on. So I'm kind of excited. Later on, I get to give some feedback, I guess, or answer questions from the Japanese team uh, from Asics. So I'm I'm kind of feeling a little. Do you feel do honored? You remember I got your Japanese asked. still. I do. I I, I it's I would forgotten most of it, but then today it started coming back because like I want to talk to him. Uh, no, I just uh, I started remembering like Ohio goes I miss is good morning and it's funny because I say yeah thank you desna which means nice uh, nice weather and they're like no just uh, thank you desna and so I think like you know how you might say stuff formal. Oh. Like they were like, hey, uh, calm down a little okay. bit. You know? <laughs> Pump the brakes. It is very nice I weather. <laughs> I thought it was formally nice weather today. Yeah, it was. I it would was. call it formally nice. I was doing that stuff. I was, uh, I, you know, I was remembering some tabimas for eating and stuff. Okay. And cool. Yeah, namimas for drinking. And yeah. Like there you that. go. Yeah, it's it's coming back. I do feel like if we do ever go back to Japan, mm -hmm. I will go hardcore again and, yeah. and try to get more in because at least now I got some base. Yeah. So. I like it. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if we have anything else to talk about today, like on this podcast. Probably. Kind of a, yeah, probably not. We could circle back to stuff. Yeah. Uh, I just use corporate speak for no reason, but yeah, I like really, that. I think could you pin a pin in it? Incorporating that more often. The, yep. What's the table one? Put it on the tab table this for later. Table, table this for the yeah. later. Put okay. a pin in it. Yeah. Table we'll get back to podcast. it. Yeah. I mean, that's all good. All joking aside, we did run in the. Uh, Kiana 30. 30. Take it hey, off. Can Show you the people. Can you throw me that Kiana 30? I was going to. This is even better. It's like our It's like our first thoughts. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, I thought for sure those glasses. Were guys, I know. I did. That was near catastrophic. Yeah. So if you don't know about the Kiana at this point. No. no one, do not no throw one that. Do it. not. It, oh, if you don't know about the Kiana <laughs> at this point, then I don't know. There's been 30 iterations of it. Yeah. About 28 of them we didn't really enjoy running in because we don't need a ton of stability mm -hmm. and it was the traditional stability shoe now it's moved to that new thing that we're calling like guidance trainer it does that pure gel it does it does mm -hmm. pure gel right here on the side so the shoes evolved and so like if you ran in the kiona light and it's more like a hybrid between the traditional kiano and the kind of light but i don't know robbie what did you think? I, mean, like, I thought it was fine. Like, it was pretty good. Nice, comfortable trainer. Um, like, you know, it's a light stability or a full stability trainer. So I don't, it's. It's hard for me to get excited a, about uh, stability trainers. Yeah. But it is like, I can, I can run in this one. So it's got I mean, a 4D guidance system. It has a huge, yeah. like the platform is so wide on it, which is nice. I was actually ran with this on the trails yesterday. And were I you felt, wearing that? Yeah, you yeah, were. And I felt pretty good. Over, like I didn't feel like I was rolling my ankles or anything, which is kind of crazy, but it, it does have a pretty wide base. on. And you sit wide. down into it. The sidewalls come up a little yeah. high. Yeah. So it does all this stuff without having that really strong, like it used to have like really strong medial posting. Now it does have a dual density thing in here. 
like this, but I can't. Do you feel a difference between those two? Not really. Yeah. So it's the midsole is Flight Foam Blast Plus. Is there any other? Is it any other Flight Foam? In, flight Foam. In flight Foam. It's, it's so hard to, to say. say. I know. Um, I can't tell if it's the Asics Grip Rubber or the AHAR Plus. I can't tell. I do think people who need stability or want that stability, and we were joking around earlier because I was talking to one of the Asics guys, and he was actually saying there is a case for people who are going long distance that your form breaks down and where you, how you land in the shoe changes and that a shoe like the Kayano can help with that. Mm -hmm. um, I do like that these shoes are feeling more like normal daily trainers than yeah, it doesn't uh, feel neutral. I should say it doesn't say. feel quite like a brick like they used to. Yeah, they used to just hurt your feet. I still, I mean, like we said, like we don't need stability. We're all neutral runners, so like I'm not going to gravitate towards this shoe when there's options like the Super Blast or Nova Blast. But it was all right. So is Aldrin getting these? Yeah, Aldrin's our stability reviewer. Yeah. So our stability guys will be reviewing this for the website for sure. And he gets super excited about this. And you know who else I think would be good for this shoe? Yeah. Chad. Maybe, yeah. I mean, we have other, I know two of our other reviewers, um, Mercer and Sam Sheldon are both stability guys. But they're lightweight. The reason yeah, why I was yeah. thinking that this shoe might be good for someone like Chad, like when we wear a neutral shoe and we're not, I think Chad's six foot two or something. Yeah, and, he's a big dude. And... Yeah, he's not lightweight, yeah. and so he's putting a lot on a, a shoe's midsole. I think that a shoe like this is going to offer him a better ride than some of the things that work for us. Yeah, cool. Um, so is that is that available now? Yeah, okay. you can get it right now. Yeah, you can get it right now. So yeah, we have another day left here in Colorado. And Robbie might stay. Yeah, it might be. It's hard to going to be hard to get. I mean, out any here. place that has. Open LARPing and nobody's getting beat up for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Open LARPing I was season. shocked at that. Yeah, no one's getting their ass kicked. I mean, we went by a park and there's kids. And when I say kids, teenagers and maybe even older, maybe in their 20s. There was multiple groups. Yeah. And they're just walking around with foam swords and yeah. capes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, whatever it's floats your boat. Happening. Yeah. But All right. All right. So let's wrap it up. Thanks to Brandon for editing this one. And <laughs> uh, an interesting I yeah. guess we all need to say... Bye, Ma. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Ma. Hi, Ma. Hi, Ma. Bye, also, Ma. Thanks, thanks to Emma again for coming on and, and like chatting shenanigans with us and ASICs for this fun trip to Boulder. Yeah.